Hey everyone, we get a lot of questions on our Bluetooth ethanol sensor, so I thought I'd do a quick video demonstration of it to kind of explain, you know, they say a uh, picture's worth a thousand words, well a video's got to be worth a million, so. Anyways, um, well, I'm currently in our 335i. This has our flex fuel sensor installed in it. As you can see, it's currently running E76. So the biggest misconception or the biggest question that people have about our Bluetooth anal analyzer is, hey, I want it to run with the JB4, or I want it to run with an analog gauge, or I have an ECU tuner, can we integrate it with the ECU tuner and the Bluetooth gauge? So the simple answer to that is yes. As you can see here, we have the ethanol sensor connected via Bluetooth to our Apple device. So it's compatible with both Apple and Android device, and we're getting a live reading of what the ethanol content is via Bluetooth on our Apple device. Also, we have the JB4 running, and so the, sorry, rotated the phone, my, my finger's in the way. Anyways, we have the JB4 running, and we're currently logging with the BMS JB4 software. And as you can see, under the E85, we also have that monitoring. So the JB4 now sees what our ethanol content is. It can use that for scaling the um, PI if you choose that or what have you. So that is also a live signal that is going to the JB4. So we've got that signal, which is zero to five volt. And I apologize, it's really hard to focus in on a small image and not shake. Um, and then we have our Bluetooth that is also reading. So you can see that live readout. So you don't have to have the JB4 in order to read your ethanol content via Bluetooth, nor do you have to use our app to utilize the ethanol analyzer. You can use one or the other or both. Um, so now that covers that. So I was gonna go over a little bit of the actual sensor installation and, and what all is required for that. For the sensor insula installation, it's very simple. So we've got, and I apologize if this is hard to see, we've got our ethanol sensor that we install in line. And you can install that with our fittings or without our fittings. We've got a nice billet aluminum machine fitting that we use. Um, this has our uh, cam lock technology, so that it's just a small twist to install it on the ethanol sensor. And then, of course, our analyzer. And our analyzer just plugs right straight into the ethanol sensor. And then on the other end of the analyzer, we have the male plug. And the male plug is just plugged into our harness. And in this case, this is just a generic harness that they use for the GTR, the GTI, or basically any platform. When installing this, there's only three wires that have, and only two of which have to be used. There's the red power wire, just gets 12 volts. The black ground wire just goes to chassis ground. And then in this case, there's a yellow wire. On some of our harnesses, especially the BMW ones, that's typically white, um, and, this, and it's all encased in a gray jacket. Um, anyways, that third wire, be it yellow or white, is optional. It does not have to be installed. If you order it as a zero to five volt, then the yellow wire is going to be a yellow, or excuse me, a zero to five volt output. That is the output that can be connected to the JB4 to monitor your ethanol content via the JB4, whether you're using the Bluetooth mobile kit or just the standard JB4 interface like we're using here on the laptop. Um, that's a zero to five. The other option is to order it with the raw signal. And what the raw signal means is on our ethanol sensor, the ethanol sensor itself just puts out a raw signal output. And that is 50 to 150 hertz unless there is an air condition and an air condition. And that then puts out a um, 190 hertz. If you order the raw signal version, this yellow wire or white wire, whichever it may be, whichever harness you get, is the raw signal output. So basically the ethanol sensor acts as though nothing is connected to it. It doesn't know that anything's connected to it. All you're getting is 
our analyzer will put out the Bluetooth signal and then this raw signal, it just passes on to whatever you're using be it uh, ECU tuner, maybe you've got, um, you know, uh, MoTeC or what have you that takes the raw signal, or maybe even a zero to five volt output that you can plug that yellow or white wire directly into that ECU so that it can also use that signal to tune for E85. So as I said, just to reiterate, all of our sensors, Bluetooth or zero to five volt have the Bluetooth output. All of them have that. Every one of them can be used with our app on an Apple or Android device. The only option is the zero to five volt or the raw signal. Depending upon which one, you know, which tune you're using or if you're using a JB4, that's really the only choice that you have to make. If you're not using either of those, then it doesn't matter. You can order either one of them and you'll have the Bluetooth signal. You can monitor your ethanol content on your Apple or Android device and you're good to go. So I hope that clears a little bit of that up, makes it a little easier for those of you that are trying to understand which um, analyzer you need. Um, and other than that, uh, thanks for watching and we'll catch you next time.